I see an expression can be rewritten as this with a k constant. What is the value of k? So we'll do this by hand first, and then we'll do the Desmos way. I know Desmos can work because I can type this equation as equation one. I can type this as equation two with a constant for k. And then I just slide k until my two graphs are similar, right? But by hand, it's really not that bad because they already gave us a big clue. We divide out the one third, and then it looks like it's going to be a sum and difference or a difference of squares. So again, I see the one third on the outside. So if I divide both of these by one third, I'll have an x squared. And when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to be minus six. And then my one third is on the outside. And then I set a difference of squares. While six isn't a perfect square, you can see that we do have some square roots in our answers. All we have to do is x plus the square root of this. And then x minus the square root of this. And then the one third is still on the outside. And you can see that k is just going to be square root of three, meant to say square root of six. The reason why this works is because my x squared minus square root of 6x plus square root of 6x, so your middle terms cancel out, and then square root of 6 times square root of 6 minus 6, right? So it's really not that bad to do by hand, but if you just feel like doing it on Desmos, we'll pull this up. I put both of my equations in, and they said that these should be uh, able to be rewritten as, which means they're equal. So I type equation 1, equation 2, add my slider for k, and I just have to slide it to where it's close. You can see how I'm not getting it like an actual integer here. You can see it's not exactly on there. So I just go, okay, well, is this close to square root of two? It's not. Is it close to square root of six for K? And it does look like it's going to be really close to that. So either way, my answer is going to be D here.